I cried a teardrop, and those drops of tear fell hard and deep. I cried rain, I cried all my fears out. The rain turned into cats and dogs, slowly flooding away the land where I live. The flowers of love that I planted with my lover. The seeds that we planted together. Hoping that we'll have a big garden full of flowers made out of love. It's not that we did not have a garden. We had a very big garden, but we wanted our garden to spread all over our love land. I cried a lot, you know. I cried tears, and those tears turned into flood. The flood became the tsunami, and all I could do was watch. The loneliest moment in someone's life is when they're watching their whole world fall apart, and all they can do is stare blankly. That's what I did. I stood there like a helpless person. I did not beg the water to stop taking and breaking away from the things I loved. I endure the pain. I think it's the only way to move on in life. That is to feel the pain, the water of pain. It went every pore, every part of my body, even my soul, and cleansed it all. Through the whole process, I stood there like a sculpture, a stone, which was half made of love and half left to be made, but would never be made. The flow of water broke the stone, and there I was, a free soul. Well, I opened my eyes to see nothing. Complete darkness. Then a light from my body popped out of my chest. It was like a bullet shot out of my body. The bullet was my soul, bright as ten thousand suns, which flew and lit the world of darkness that I was in. Then I saw I had nothing left, not even a single seed or a branch of love that I had planted with my lover. I was in awe. I smiled and. My smile turned into laughter, and then shaking the whole world. I think the land laughed at me too. <laughs> the land cracked, and it offered me a box, a Pandora's box. I gave a smile, and the crack of land hit itself. I had nothing to lose. It's only after we've lost everything that we are free to do anything. I opened the single grain of seed. And there was a paper on the box, and it quoted, "The seed of self-love and finding oneself." I gave a smile, took that seed in my hand, and planted it on the land. The land was happy. I could hear it, you know, and it said, "Thank you." As I finished planting that seed, I had an overwhelming feeling of euphoria. I could feel those butterflies in my stomach. I started singing, and those butterflies from my stomach. Flew one by one as I hit every melody. A brand grew on my land, and those butterflies played around it. <sighs> now, now I have a land full of flowers made out of self-love. The land covers infinity, as long as I could stretch my eyes, and all I could see are my flowers and the happy, the happy land. With its new flowers, I sat there, closed my eyes, meditated. Om.、Oh. <laughs> the land and me are not two spirits, you know, but one as a whole. There is not you. There is not me. There is only love. Can't you see that I love myself and that I am free? There is no past, present, or future. I live in all times. I am eternity. Yes. At last, I would like to thank my lover. Without you, I would have never found myself. And now that I have, I hope that you will too. Where you plant a seed of love, and just be happy, just like me, yours and yours forever. And if the world ends. You know, I told you. What if the world started so that we could just meet again? To meet me at the pond, 
while I see you swing star, wishing you'd be stick still together with me. <laughs> but I guess that's just a dream, you know. But I'll be happy knowing that I loved you, knowing that you were a part of my life. And I love you, and that is why I've let you go. And I'll always love you. And I hope, I hope you'll find your happiness just like me, inside of you, not outside, not in any other person, inside you.